and welcome back to an episode of News About Some Guy. Some guy named Justin. Hi, I'm Justin Hall. And I'm very pleased to be with you in this last premarital episode of The Justin Hall Show. Next week, I'm gonna marry this lovely woman named Elise. I've already given it a whirl and failed. I thought I would only get married once. So this opportunity to join my life with someone optimistic about me is a renewal of hope. I don't predict all happiness because the price of love is grief, but I'm super psyched to marry this awesome lady. It seems to be a season of marriage in my life. Earlier this month, I officiated my first ever wedding of my nephew and his wonderful partner at an arts and culture festival in the Nevada desert called Burning Man. We're making fun out of a very difficult situation, which is sort of like a lifetime of partnership. <laughs> Since this was a family wedding, much of my family turned out, including my mom at the age of 76, making her first trip to Burning Man. I've been to this Bacchanalian potlatch six or seven times in 21 years, so I didn't mind getting off the freaky fast track to see Burning Man through my mom's eyes. Starting last month, thousands of people looking for free videos on the internet found Overshare, the Lynx.net story. This documentary describes the earliest days of the web through the passions and peccadilloes of one man-boy. Now that Overshare is loose in the wild, I've begun receiving all kinds of inquiries. Last week I spoke to a journalist from New Zealand. And I have exclusive behind the scenes footage of one side of that conversation. I mean, you could say like, shouldn't we all learn and don't we know better than to like, put something we don't want the world to know on public media. But you know, like people keep getting married and there's lots of divorces. So would we say like people should stop getting married because a lot of men didn't divorce? Like should people stop sharing on social media because they might share too much? Also, Somebody asked me if I could develop a podcast for their podcast network, so I'm drafting that. If you have opinions or preferences about a Justin Hall podcast, please share them with me. In mid-September, I had a chance to travel to Portland, Oregon for XOXO, a heartwarming festival of independent media makers. Last year, I gave a talk at the festival. What the web allows us to do is to share our data. What are we learning about our experiments, about how, what it means to be a good person and, and be connected? And we can use the web to share those truths with each other and evolve them because we don't know. And, and let's learn together until we're dead. Thank you. I wanted to understand how we could make a more empathetic internet. This year, a number of speakers took on the same theme. Zoe Quinn, Eric Meyer, and Veronica Belmont, all working to make our crowded internet a more gentle, humane place. This year, I was delighted to share an embrace with Carl and Joey, the founders of Suck.com, an early smart web publication that set a high standard for humor. These are the two guys who goaded me into updating my website every day. Finally, I'm not just some kind of weirdo newscaster. I'm also the creator of the metaphysical plot device, a cabinet within a cabinet within the pataphysical slot machine. The pataphysical slot machine is the creation of the pataphysical studios, which is basically a bunch of art addicts hanging out in Howard Rheingold's backyard for the last three or more years making weird stuff together on a regular basis. The public debut of the Pataphysical Slot Machine comes this Friday, October 2nd, at the Mill Valley Public Library. If all this sounds like fun to you, try gathering a group of friends to make some elaborate nonsense. Or, check out the internet. 
where you can find out more about the metaphysical plot device. People like you support The Justin Hall Show on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash justin.